Hello, World Music Scholars. Today we're going to be learning about some of the ancient Mexican instruments. The first one is the conch shell trumpet, or tequitzli. Now, a friend of mine gave me this as a gift um, when I visited her in Tlaxcala, which is a, which is a city in central Mexico, about an hour um, south of Mexico City. And this conch shell trumpet is also known as an ancient alarm because before um, there were sound systems and electricity, people needed to figure out how are they gonna let everybody know um, certain times of day or when to go to war or all kinds of things. So the conch shell trumpet or the tequitzli is an ancient alarm. And it's just like a normal trumpet. I'm gonna blow into here I'm going to practice my buzz again, like I did for the didgeridoo. I'm going to put my hand in here. And when you put your hand in here, it can actually change the pitch, just like on a French horn. Let's see if I can get a good tone out of this one. Now, if I put my hand in and take it out at different intervals, I can change the pitch. Let me try something. So I'm actually able to change the pitch on this thing, which is pretty cool. Let me show you the next instrument, which is called uh, the ocarina. So this ocarina is particularly special. I got it at um, Teotihuacan, and it is a very um, special ocarina in that it has two chambers. So harmony was sounding in Mexico hundreds of years before it was in Europe due to these little ocarinas, which can harmonize with themselves and create an accompaniment. And here each side creates a different sound so it's harmonizing with itself which is really neat the next instrument I want to show you is another ocarina and this one's a little bit more modern and it has a different tone So you can hear the difference in tone. And I have a third ocarina I want to play for you. Which is this little guy. And this one. And it has a very piercing high sound. A lot of the instruments were made with the same materials that the people there used to build their civilization. There's a lot of pottery used for these ocarinas. You're gonna find a lot of things made of obsidian and lots of colorful stones around central Mexico. And then the final instrument I wanna show you today is the jaguar roar. And you can see this jaguar roar has a face. And what you do is you're gonna roll your tongue in your mouth, like this. To sound like a lion. And you're gonna blow into this hole and cup your hand over the top 
And as you do your Jaguar sound, you're gonna open up your hand to let the Jaguar sound out. I just think this is such a neat instrument. Um, now, there are ancient animal warriors, like levels of warrior that you could be. There were jaguars, there were certain birds, and um, the eagle is another really important animal. So in the ancient Aztec on uh, Olmec society, people would rise through the ranks of warrior and be given different animal, um, different animal names, like the jaguar warrior. <laughs> 